super serious PSA announcement. A little earlier, I was reaching into my bag to get a piece of equipment. It was not this piece of equipment, but this is the one that got me. This is a garlic shaver. This is very much literally a razor blade on a plane with a screw to set the thickness. And what it will do to garlic or carrots or any kind of vegetable is it'll, it'll thinly, thinly slice, I mean paper thin, shavings. What it will do to you is, um, so this is, this is the lesson today. For the rest of the videos here, you're going to see me using some gloves. The good thing about having sharp utensils is that while it will cut you, it won't hurt nearly as much. If it's dull, it does more than cut, it tears, and that's where you get the pain when you get cut in the kitchen. If you want to do this and do it seriously, either as a, a semi-professional home cook or a real professional culinarian, you're going to get cut, you're going to get burnt. That's just the simple reality of the situation. Don't let it slow you down, just put a glove on and pay attention. And now I'll show you the piece of equipment I was trying to get out of my bag. This is a citrus zester and reamer. Uh, the zester is just a microplane. It's got a little box on it there to catch all the shavings. And very simply, you want to use the microplane this way. You want to hold the fruit steady and move the microplane. It'll help prevent you from microplaning your fingers, or in this case, your gloves. And that box, that box is really handy because it catches all the zest. And then simply cut those in half after you've zested them and use the reamer to get the juice out. And this is, this is a big help in the kitchen. This gets all the juice for you. Just that quick and easy, a couple of twists and we're good to go. All right guys, getting ready for Cinco de Mayo. We're gonna be making a jicama pineapple salsa. Now I'm making this for 20 people, but I'm going to give you numbers for a more reasonable version of this, something you would use for like half a dozen people instead of 20. You know it's not often you'll be cooking for 20 people. So let's get started. We're going to start with two cups of pineapple and that's a medium dice. You want to use half as much jicama, so this is going to be one cup of jicama to two cups of pineapple. You want to cut the, the jicama slightly finer than the pineapple. The pineapple wants to be the star in this one. Okay, we're going to go with a quarter of the amount of pineapple uh, for red onion. So two cups of pineapple, half a cup of red onion, finely diced. Half a cup of red pepper, red bell pepper, finely diced. Zest of about a quarter of a lime. This is a Persian lime, so it's not a really huge lime. And you want to go with the juice of a half of a Persian lime. And you want to go with a teaspoon of fresh chopped mint and a teaspoon of fresh chopped cilantro. I'm also going to do a half teaspoon of cumin and a half teaspoon of ground annatto. Now, ground annatto is a slightly acidic type herb. Uh, you're going to find that in, your, in the international aisle in the Latino side. And then lastly, I'm going to give it about a teaspoon of honey. All right, now I'm going to cut here <clears throat> and I'm going to mix this all up. And I'm only cutting here because there are going to be kids at the party that I'm going to do. So. This will not be super spicy. It's going to have a little bit of a kick with the annatto, but annatto is not in and of itself a spicy herb. It's more, like I said, it's pretty acidic. It's really going to uh, mesh well with the lime juice in here. Okay, so that's the kid friendly version. I'm going to separate some of this out and put it in a container. For the adults, I'm then going to put in, and again, this is off of the two cup version, 
I'm going to add a quarter of a medium jalapeno finely diced. Now she's spicy. Pineapple jicama salsa. It's really bright. It's really flavorful. It's 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 got a very cooling effect to it. Even with that jalapeno in there, it pairs really well with shrimp or pork. Oh, and before I forget, also for the adults, if you want to throw a shot of tequila in there and let it sit overnight, it wouldn't be a mistake. All right, guys, it's pretty, it's tasty, it's vegetarian. Go try this one out. Uh, in the meantime, uh, hit that like button, the subscribe, the comment, uh, share, do all the things, push all the buttons. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.